Hello and welcome to What's on Screen. This is Nix from Screen Alcoholics and it's the first episode of the series. So if you don't know what this series is about, then I highly suggest you to check out the 30 second teaser linked above in the cards and then come back here. Now that you have done that, a little disclaimer. We will be only focusing on movies coming to theaters or the originals by Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, etc. And the same goes for TV shows. That means we won't be covering content that is already released and now coming to various streaming platforms. In today's episode, we will be talking about all the movies and TV shows coming from 24th of June to the 30th of June. Now there are five major releases in the box office next week. First of all, we have Annabelle Comes Home and that's why Spider-Man is far from home. I am going on vacation. <laughs> Sorry for that. Anyways, in the third installment of the series, Aiden Loring keeps the possessed doll locked up in the artifacts room in their house, which is also home of all the spirits and stuff they have collected over the years. And now that the doll is awake, the first thing it does is this. Next up, we have Killers Anonymous starring Jessica Alba and Gary Oldman which is about a support group of killers which is held weekly just like this series where participants sit in a circle of trust and share their transgressions of the past. Then we have the 16th episode which is about a YouTube channel unlike this one where 3 YouTubers make videos about haunted places and are struggling to get more views just like this one as they travel to mythical city of Casablanca unaware that it hides a terrifying secret. Next up we have 3 picks which is German movie released back in 2017 but now coming to USA in theaters near you which is about a guy Aaron who wants to become a family with his girlfriend and her 8 year old son high up in the Italian Dolomites which is basically Himalayas of Italy where Aaron attempts to win the boy's acceptance turn into a dangerous power game. And last but not least you have Yesterday and you should have probably heard something about this movie unless you are living under a rock. Anyway, yesterday is about a struggling musician where he realizes that he's the only person on the planet who can remember the Beatles after waking up in an alternative timeline where they never existed. Also, there is a cameo by Ed Sheeran. All my troubles seem so far away. Oh, I believe in yesterday. When did you write that? I didn't write it. Paul McCartney wrote it. The Beatles. Who? John, Paul, George and Ringo, the Beatles. No. Stop it. Yesterday. It's one of the greatest songs ever written. Well, it's not Coldplay. It's not Fix You. And that is it for the movies. Now let's take a look at 20 new TV shows and seasons you should be looking forward to watch in the next week. First up, we have Final Space Season 2, which is about an astronaut named Gary and his planet-destroying sidekick called Mooncake as they go through space in order to unlock the mystery of where the universe actually ends and if it does actually exist. Next up, we have Reunion, which nobody asked for. Anyway, we have The Heels New Beginning, where the original cast reunites alongside their children, friends and family and follows their personal and professional lives in LA. So it's basically poor people skipping up with Kardashians. Then we have one of Marvel's rare good TV shows, Legion, and it's back with its third and final season on FX. Next up, we have Years and Years by HBO, which is a six-part limited series follows a busy family from Manchester over the course of next 15 years, which offers chilling forecast of where our country might be heading, and according to The Guardian, it's one of the most terrifying TV shows of 2019. Then we have another anime by Netflix, returning for its second season, Forest of Piano follows two different people, the son of a prostitute and the son of a professional musician. Over the course, they develop a bond of friendship through their love of playing the piano. On June 25th, we have another season of Big Brother coming up, so if you are into that sort of thing, you might already know this. Then we have another anime by Netflix called Seven Seeds, which follows a group of chosen to ensure the survival of humanity together on a changed earth. Sounds familiar, right? You guys guessed it right, it's basically the 100 with low budget. Then we have Netflix documentary series Doe, which is coming back for its third season, which allows us to ride along for an uncompromising look at the lives of those who sell, use and wage a war on drugs in US and Mexico. Next up we have Exhibit A, which is a true crime series shows how innocent peoples, the ones who are watching this video by the way, have been convicted with dubious forensic techniques and tools such as touch DNA and cadaver dogs. 
then we have a reality tv show from down under instant hotel which follows homeowners who have transformed their homes into hotels and are individually judged by each other to receive high scores and ultimately win the grand prize then we have the loudest voice which is a seven part limited series about roger allies the founder of fox news and focuses on his controversial career and how sexual harassment accusation brought his career to an end and last but not least we have a list of series on stars the rook which is set in london and centers on a young woman pursued by shadowy paranormal adversaries while grappling with extraordinary abilities of her own so it's basically a supernatural spy drama and that is it for today let us know your thoughts in the comments below about what are you excited to watch in the upcoming weekend and that's it from us see you on the next sunday with the new episode of what's on screen cheers don't forget to like